You know, on Morning in America, we celebrate people who give their time to helping others in our series, American Hero. There are around 2 million incarcerated people in the U.S. And that number has actually increased dramatically over the years. In 1980, there were only 500,000. One man in Atlanta, Georgia, wants to stop recidivism. Zeus Luby has made it his life mission to mentor incarcerated youth and keep them out of the prison system. Zeus works with other mentors in the nonprofit Rehabilitation Enables Dreams, known as RED, and we're joined by Zeus right now. Zeus, good morning. Good morning. We just listed this number. I wanted you to clarify because I figure you're more of an expert than me. That, that two million number, is that incarcerated young people, minors who are under the age of 18? Uh, it, it goes beyond uh, the age of 18, but it's in that realm. Okay, great. Well, tell us about your personal story and, and what happened to you as a young person to lead you here. So uh, coming up, I come from hardship. I come from poverty. My story starts in West Philadelphia. Um, and I was always very community conscious, always had a love for my community. So I was always the guy who was encouraging my friends who were selling drugs and breaking into cars. You know, listen, you got to change course. You're damaging the community. Uh, you know, and I don't want to see you locked up. There's no future in that. And unfortunately, uh, at 17 years old, I was arrested uh, for a crime and it was a minor crime. But that led to a felony conviction, mm -hmm. a mistaken felony conviction that was put on my record by a clerical error uh, made by the county that I lived in. And I spent uh, seven years as a convicted felon wow. trying to get that off my record. Wow. And so for you, obviously, there was this intention. There was a purpose in wanting to live a good life and to make right choices. But uh, you got caught up in something. And now you're helping other young people who might be caught up in something uh, that could cause their life to end or cause them to not be able to find jobs. So what kind of mentoring are you providing for them? So at present, uh, RED, which stands for Rehabilitation Enables Dreams, we are a, uh, a nonprofit that focuses on reducing recidivism. Recidivism is when somebody goes into jail, they get out, and they go back to jail. That starts the cycle of recidivism. And that national cycle is about 65%. Wow. So 65% of the people that go to jail, uh, go back to jail. So in our nonprofit, we've been running this program for going on eight years. And in that eight year span, our recidivism rate is less than 10%. So we pour into our young people. We spend 12 months with each group. We pair them up with mentors. I'm the director of programming. So I make sure I spend one-on-one -on -one time with each participant that comes into our program get a feel for their personality, character, home life, their story. And that's what's missing in the system. Once you get arrested, you just heard it. You're, you're going from one place to the next, you know, district attorneys, judges, you know, bailiffs, so forth and so on. So it's a dehumanizing experience. And our nonprofit organization focuses on the human component, making sure that these young people understand that they're not throwaways, they're not rejects. They're not the bottom of society and they deserve a second chance because we all make mistakes. Many of us who are very successful did foolish things, dumb things, hung out with the wrong people, wrong place, wrong time, but we weren't punished for the rest of our lives. You know, so that's what RAID is about, giving a second chance to deserving young people who have the capacity, the desire, the ability to make a change so they can live fruitful lives and return to society as beneficial members of the community. And what is the website? Where can people learn more about your organization? Uh, you can go to stoprecidivism.org. Um, you can also find us on social media platforms. Uh, we are constantly in the community. Uh, we span from county to county. We're in Gwinnett County, we're in DeKalb County, and we're trying to expand nationally. All right, wonderful. Well, congratulations to you, Zeus, for making your story something that other people can benefit from. We thank you for being Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.